Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Rahmanisa Aulia I am from Chemistry Analyst Vocational High School Now I'm here because I am joined Olimpiade Humaniora Nusantara 2018 I would like to tell you a story about the legend of Lake Toba Once upon a time in North Sumatra lived a young man named Toba Toba was so lonely because his parents already passed away when Toba was a child. Every day, Toba always went to the field to farm some vegetables and also went to the lake to catch some fish. One day, when Toba went to the lake for fishing, he waited very long to get a fish. It took until two hours for him to do nothing. And suddenly, he got big and fresh golden fish. So, Toba went home to cook the fish because he was very hungry. But, Toba was surprised because something happened with the fish. The fish could talk. Please, oh no, please, don't eat me, said the golden fish to Toba. What? Who are you? How can you talk? said Toba surprised. I am the golden fish. Please don't eat me, said the golden fish. So Toba left the golden fish in the kitchen. The next day, Toba went farming to the field. Toba was farming from morning until noon. So Toba was hungry and tired after did that. Toba went home. At home, Toba went to the kitchen. And Toba was surprised because there was a beautiful girl who was cooking in Toba's house. What? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Say Toba surprised. Hello, I am a golden fish. Now I'm human form. I'm here to give you some food as a sign of my gratitude, say the golden fish. Time by time passed, Toba and the, gold and the golden fish got married and had a son named Samusar. But before they got married, they made a promise to keep the secret about the origin of the girl. When Samusar was seven years old, he was very lazy, stubborn, and mischievous. One day, Smozir, oh Smozir, please deliver this food to your father at the field. I'm busy now, Smozir, I have something to do here, say mother. Oh, no, mom, no, I want to play. I will go with my friends now, say Smozir's name. Hey, Smozir. What's wrong with you? He is your father. He is hungry now. Bring it for him now. Say mother is angry. Because mother is angry, Samozir forced to deliver his food to his father. On the way to the field, Samozir ate father's lunch. Little by little, until remaining few. And then, when Toba opened the box, it was already empty. Tobu was really angry. What? Where is the food? Said Tobu angry. I I'm so sorry, Dad. I'm so hungry. Smozir answered with anxiety. Tobu felt really. Tobu felt really upset with his son. And suddenly. He said something rude that was forbidden to Smozir. <sighs> your mother like an animal. It's because your mother is a fish. So you are like her. No, go away from here. Said Toba angry. He didn't realize that he said something forbidden. 
to tell about Smozir mother's origin. Smozir said and went home and told all to his mother. Calm down, Smozir. Don't cry anymore. No, all you have to do is climb the highest mountain in the village and stay there. There will be a huge flood and this village will be sinking and disappear, said mother. Smozi went away and climbed the highest mountain in the village. The mother really said he did see decide to do suicide by jump to the lake. And suddenly the sky getting dark. The rain falls down. It is the great rain. The lightning and thunder was really scary. Meanwhile, Toba can help himself from this disaster. Look up. Smozir still can save himself from this great disaster. So, the island in the middle of the lake of the lake is called Smozir Island and the village will submerge and be a big large lake. The large lake called Toba. Thank you for watching me. Don't forget to click like if you like this. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.